Joseph, yesterday you were talking about higher consciousness and expanded consciousness. Could you elaborate on that for me, please? Yeah, we were talking about uh, what was traditionally called higher consciousness and self-work leading to higher consciousness. Um, I remember that phrase being, uh, I remember personally being uh, the phrase in the 70s of explaining what we're seeking in this, this kind of self-work uh, industry. Uh, I'm sure, and, and I know it was spoken in the 60s, I don't know how much further back than that it goes, but there was an old book I read, Mystic Path to Cosmic Power by Vernon Howard. And, you know, he speaks of higher consciousness. And so what he actually means is expanded consciousness. And today we can actually look at it that way. Uh, when you say higher consciousness, you instantly create an idea of vertical uh, uh, experience. You're lower and you go higher. Um, when you say expanded consciousness, well, then it goes wider and it could expand up or down. It's not just you know, uh, not in, it, it's not just horizontal, it's all, it just expands. And the reason why expanded consciousness better explains our consciousness and how we relate with consciousness is because that's exactly what's happening, right? We're expanding our, our focal point of, of attention. So if I'm just focusing on a single thing, I have contracted consciousness. I'm, I, and I'm doing it on purpose so I can take notice of that individual thing, like a nail on the wall. If I am wanting to see a wider scope of things, as we were mentioning about the bridge and so on in the previous conversation, I would have to then allow my focal point to extend all around my body, to every receptor of, of my body. I, mean, I put my hands like this because it's like every part is receiving. Um, and in that state, my consciousness is more expanded. I can receive more information. And so I, I have greater ability to uh, have more insight and make clearer decisions with that greater insight. So uh, that's, that's the, the main distinction that higher consciousness doesn't need to be util used anymore. It could be replaced easily by expanded consciousness. We're seeking to expand our consciousness. Right? Well, you know, like I even said it, you know, we do the self-work stuff, people like to call it. And let's be specific, you know, we're doing the work of expanding our consciousness to, un to, to inwardly and outwardly and be able to see more deeply and more expansively ourselves. Today, you can see yourself much more clearly of who you were 10 years ago than you could have five years ago of who you were five years before that. Your consciousness has expanded. You're viewing it from an expanded perspective. You're looking at yourself. That's inner vision expanded. So expanded consciousness also includes vision. Inner vision and outer vision. Outer vision is obviously what we see out here. Inner vision is what we do and we shut it off from the outside and look in. And it's two different kinds of visions that see different things. And both can be contracted and expanded.